Every now and again, there's a movie that will sadly break an actor. Whether it's a run-in with an unfortunate altercation or being unprepared for the truth to being on the receiving end of the downright twisted, there are moments that leave actors scarred and remind us that they are people too with their own fears and problems. Thankfully, these on-set altercations did not affect the determination of the actors who pulled through and carried on to finish their films. Here are 10 life-threatening movie moments that actors regret. Before we get started, can you name this movie from these emojis? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Screen Rant. Alien. What is the scariest and most well-known moment from the original Alien film? You're probably thinking of the chestburster scene in which a baby alien explodes from John Hurt's stomach. While it's fun knowing now that the cast was unprepared for the alien to pop out, what may shock you more is learning that the baby xenomorph was partially made up of real human skulls. Scriptwriter Dan O'Bannon revealed during the commentary for Return of the Living Dead that artist H.R. Geiger went to India and bought human skulls for the prop. Even more unsettling is that the xenomorph's teeth are made up from the skulls of human children O'Bannon observed. Yikes! I bet he wish he didn't know that. Thank you, Mr. Bates. Norman Bates. Psycho. Another iconic moment in horror comes from the classic film Psycho. As we're all aware in that film, Janet Leigh's character is ultimately brutally murdered halfway through the movie in the iconic shower scene. However, the scene did quite a number on the actress. Leigh stated that filming the scene left her so rattled that she decided to never do shower scenes, providing it was absolutely necessary to the plot. The actress would later state that watching the scene over again left her realizing how vulnerable and defenseless one is. house on the left. Sometimes being too real might be crossing a line when it comes to the safety of the actors. Wes Craven's breakout film, The Original Last House on the Left, is a prime example of this. One of the many horrible moments the cast had to endure on set saw actor David Hess is confronted with a chainsaw. The twist here is that it isn't a prop, it's a fully operational chainsaw with no safety precautions in place to keep Hess safe. Couple this with Mark Schaefer holding Sandra Castle over a drop to get a reaction and actual fist fighting for a shot, and it's no wonder these actors didn't quit acting all together. Halloween. One of the pillars of the slasher horror genre, Halloween is deemed a terrifying classic and at the time of release in the 70s was pure terror, especially for child actor Kyle Richards, age 9, who played Lindsay Wallace in the John Carpenter film. Yet it wasn't until Richards saw the final product at the premiere that she felt the true terror of the film, which resulted in the young actress having to sleep with her mom until the age of 15 due to fear of someone sinister hiding under her bed. Talk about child therapy. This is why we avoid bringing children to R-rated horror horror movie premieres. Here's Johnny! <laughs> The Shining. Here's Stanley. Stanley Kubrick was known for being something of an intense director, often doing his takes 50 to 100 times and pushing his actors to their breaking point in order to get the best possible shot for his films. This was no different when it came to The Shining as Kubrick pulled no punches with actress Shelley Duvall, who played Wendy. The actress was repeatedly pushed to the limit by Kubrick to the point of bullying, which resulted in Duvall collapsing on set and her hair to actually fall out due to stress during the year-long shoot. Ironically, about going mad. Don't know about you, but hair loss due to stress on the job doesn't sound like the best cup of tea. Die Hard. yippee ki am I right, mother flippers? The first Die Hard would go on to become one of the most beloved action films of all time and introduce the world to the extremely talented Alan Rickman, who made his theatrical debut as the German terrorist Hans Gruber to Bruce Willis's NYPD officer John McClane. In the film's climax, Rickman is being suspended from the side of the high-rise and was notified he would drop on the count of three. What he didn't know is that director John McTiernan had a trick up his sleeve and dropped the actor on the count of one. What you see is Alan Rickman's genuine reaction as he plummets. The actor was reportedly furious with McTiernan and with good cause as when doing a stunt like that it's best to be mentally prepared to prevent any injuries. Thankfully this didn't happen and Hans would go on to become one of the most iconic villains ever. Aguirre, Wrath of God. You may not have heard of Aguirre, Wrath of God, the 1972 West German epic, but you'll have a hard time forgetting it after this story. During the production, director Werner Herzog threatened lead actor Klaus Kinski to make sure he didn't leave the movie. The catch is that he threatened the actor at gunpoint, even firing said gun into a cabin filled with people because he found they were too loud, which resulted in someone losing the tip of their finger. The director admitted in 1999 that he tried to have Kinski murdered by burning him alive, which was prevented due to Kinski's dog. The director remained adamant that the two were friends 
friends, but that their professional relationship bordered on psychotic and that he genuinely wanted to kill the actor. Note to self, don't work on any films with any potentially psychotic directors. The Omen. When you make a film dealing with the son of the Antichrist, you're bound to get a few bizarre mishaps during the production and perhaps a few tragic occurrences. That's exactly what happened during the shoot for the original Omen. Film saw its fair share of actual death around the cast and crew, starting with the tragic suicide of Gregory Peck's son just two months before the premiere. Peck was almost killed himself when he missed a flight, which in turn ended up crashing. Mere weeks after that, the animal handler was eaten alive by a lion. Maybe this film is indeed cursed. If that wasn't weird enough, though, special effects supervisor John Richardson's assistant, Liz Moore, was gruesomely decapitated in a car accident after he himself designed the decapitation scene in the film featuring David Warner. The date of the accident? Friday the 13th, 1976. All this is only the original version, too. Please, no one remake The Omen again. The Birds. Hitchcock strikes again on our list. In 1963, the master of horror released The Birds, which would also become a classic in the genre. In it, actress Tippi Hedren ends up being constantly haunted and tormented by the infamous birds themselves. Only there was something not quite right with these birds. Initially, she was led to believe from Hitchcock himself that there were to be mechanical creatures and would be under the control of the film crew. Much to her own horror, she discovered that the birds were in fact real. With no control over the animal's behavior, any any actor might worry about one's safety when it comes to potential injuries, especially one's eyes. Talk about being terrified by real-life birds for the rest of your life. Noah. When she's not casting spells or capturing hearts, Emma Watson is certainly creating a lasting impression with fans. The former Harry Potter alum and UN Goodwill ambassador has done a lot of good out there, but that doesn't mean the beloved actress has it easy. While on set for Darren Aronofsky's Noah, Watson had an uncomfortable brush-in with a stalker who confronted the actress in the woods during the biblical shoot in 2012. According to Daily Mail, Watson recognized the man from previous run-ins, only this time he had confronted her alone in the woods. Thankfully, security and the stunt team caught up with the man who attempted to run away and was warned that he was trespassing. While one of our favorite witches must have regretted wandering off to the woods alone, she nonetheless overcame such a shocking moment. That's it for today, everyone. What did you think of our list? Do you feel bad for these actors, or are you happy they pulled through their ordeals, whether they are planned or a product of their environment? Whatever you think, let us know in the comments and hit that subscribe button. But wait, there's more. Hop on over to CBR for even more awesome content and sign up for the notification squad to stay up to date on all the awesome videos coming your way.